everyone. My name is Tianlein and today we talk about the Barcode Blessing Skin for the Elder Scrolls Online. As always, you can find timestamps in the video description and also guide on my website. To be able to get the Barcode Blessing Skin, you need to own Greymoor and have completed the tutorial quest and unlocked the Antiquity Skill Lines. Additionally, you need to have access to the Firesong DLC to excavate lead fragments. In total, you need to obtain 10 unique Antiquity Leads to get the Barcode Blessing Skin. You have to find following leads. Ember Heart, Dolmen Clay, Grove Carpet Buds, Phoenix Moth Pigment, Old Growth Mulch, Arab Host Box, Rising Vine Mass, Chimera Hair Brush, Petrified Tree Bark Tablet, and Living Bark. Now I will explain where you can find all 10 leads for the Barcode Blessing Skin. The Ember Heart lead can drop from the Preserver of Galen Boss in Galen. This Overland Boss is quite special, since it is roaming around in Galen and does not have a static spot. Also this boss can be quite tough and is meant to be defeated with a group of people. Next we speak about the Dolmen Clay lead. You have a chance to find the Dolmen Clay lead in Volcanic Cash Boxes in Galen. Defeat Volcanic Vents across Galen and with some luck you will find a lead inside the Volcanic Cache. For the Grove Carpet Buds lead we have to travel to the Embervine Delve in the eastern part of Galen. Inside Embervine you have to find and defeat the Delve Boss Druid Relas. The Phoenix Moth Pigment lead can drop from the Phoenix Moth Critters and Bullhorned Magma Fox in Galen. Some Phoenix Moth Critters are found in the northeastern part of Galen. Bullhorned Magma Fox can be found inside Embervine. To get the Old Growth Mulch lead, you have to complete daily readable quests in Vastir and Galen. You have a chance to find the Old Growth Mulch lead inside Galen daily readable quest Vivot Coffers. For the next lead, you need to have access to Morrowind. Travel to the Forgotten Waste Public Dungeon in the northern part of Warnfell. Defeat any boss in the Forgotten Waste to have a chance to find the Scarab Host Box lead. The Racing Vine Mass lead has a chance to drop from the Balto Delve Boss in Found's Thicket. Found's Thicket is a delve in the western part of Galen. Next we talk about the Chimera Hairbrush lead. This lead can rarely be found by defeating the Chimera World Boss. Visit the Grove of the Chimera in the southern part of Galen to find the Chimera Boss. In order to obtain the Petrified Tree Bark Tablet lead, we have to collect and search Galen treasure maps. You can also buy treasure maps from guild traders, but it can cost you a lot of gold. Next we have to visit the City of Ash 1 dungeon. You have a rare chance to find the Living Bark lead by defeating the final boss of the City of Ash 1 dungeon on normal or veteran difficulty. Once you found all 10 Barkwood Blessing Skin leads, you have to excavate the fragments in Galen. After you excavated all leads, the Barkwood Blessing Skin will be automatically added to your collection. To activate the skin, open your collection, Appearance, Skins, and then click the Barkwood Blessing Skin to activate it. Keep in mind that for all leads, you don't have a 100% drop chance that you maybe need several tries or more to get the lead you are looking for. Also you maybe want to get some help from friends or guild members to challenge difficult world bosses or dungeons together. If you play ESO on PC, I highly recommend you to get the add-on display leads. This add-on helps you to find lead locations, what leads you have found and many many more things. This add-on is super useful and easy to use. I will post the link for the display leads add-on in the video description. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time. Toodles!